Hello everyone and welcome back to the uh, mod review for Tinker's Construct, the vanilla version with no mods that change the actual uh, version of Tinker's Construct. So uh, last episode we created a sword and we created a pickaxe using the tier 1 uh, tier one Tinker's Construct. Today we're going to be doing uh, tier 2 and creating our forge. So. If I go too fast, I apologize, but you got to get this done as quick as, quick as quick as possible. I'm only trying to make this a two-part. So we're going to need sand, gravel, and clay to create grout. Now, uh, I'm just going to pull one of these grouts out, put it in here for future use. Uh, grout, when you cook it, will become seared brick. Okay. So again, this this is the basis of the forge. You need it. This is all you really need. Uh, clay comes from the w underneath the water. Sand, of course, you can get almost anywhere. And dirt, well, or gravel, I'm sorry. Gravel comes from, you know, mining and whatnot. And there goes my phone. As usual. Alright. I'll deal with that later. So, uh, what we're going to be doing is to create our forge, we need a couple of things. Uh, the first thing that we're going to need is a basin, or our tool, our casting table, I'm sorry. So we need the casting table, then we need the basin, which is this. We need a controller, which goes like this. And then we'll pick up the new book called Mighty Smelting. And the next one that we need is going to be the drainer, the drain. Okay, again, all of these recipes can be found if you're using the NEI or a recipe, or you can look in the smell tree. I think it's this one, if I remember straight. Is it this one that has it? Or here's the other one. Yes, yeah, this one. Uh, yeah. This will basically set you all up and tell you exactly what you need and what you don't need for uh, Tinker's Construct Forge. So, or the Tier 2. So, where were we at? We were at... Smeltery, we got the controller. Uh, there is one thing I am missing I'm going to have to go in creative mode for. We need a seared faucet. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and make two of those. Uh, typically, this is what you'll want to do in the very beginning. And we need another drain, which is just like making legs without the one in the middle there. Okay, I need to go in creative mode real quick. And grab some glass. Because I forgot to do it. My apologies. Okay. Uh, and then for the last one, we need one piece of glass and then go around it and we create our tank. Uh, do make sure that you're always updating your tinkers. There is a possibility that uh, it could, could crash your Minecraft. Uh, I had that previously in one of my episodes where I crashed. So this is basically the the items that you're going to need to uh, create your new tools. However, you're going to need to create seared bricks with an S, uh, which is basically one one block, um, and you just do that by just putting four seared brick together. And uh, what that's going to do is that's going to create the uh, seared bricks. So, uh, and we'll just go through this real quick so you can see. So you're going to need a 3x3, three three. you can build it on top, you can build it in the ground, wherever you want to, but your floor needs to be a 3x3. Three three. Okay, so uh, just for demonstration purposes, we'll just do this, okay? So you can see the steps. So that's the 3x3, three 3x3, three, three three. and then the next thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to create walls with your seared brick. That's another mod. Alright, so basically, you're going to put them around like this. And then you'll have your floor on the inside, okay, like this. And I just cut off half of this. You would also put uh, all four walls all the way around. But uh, also take note that you don't have to. Oop, give me that back. Touch of the finger. There we go. You don't need a block here. You just need to have the textures connecting, so you don't have to worry about that. Sorry about that, head sneeze. I don't think anybody wanna to listen to that. So this would be the full version of it if we uh, if we made 
the Tinker's Construct. So you'd always start with your floor, three by three, and then three on the side, three in the back, three on this side, and three on this side. And that basically is, uh, of course, the wool's not there. So, but that's just to demonstrate color-wise where you would put everything. But eventually you would build something like this almost, where you have a solid state around it, okay? So minus this tank of uh, lava here, we'll go ahead and get rid of that. You, this is what you would come up with, okay? Now, uh, there's a couple things I want to show you. Uh, if you have other mods like Ender IO or in, uh, something like, uh, what's the other one? Uh, shoot, what is it? Uh, extra utilities, there we go. Uh, but once you have your, your square format, your square, I guess it's just a big square is what it is, you know just without the sides here okay like I said again you just need the textures touching in order for it to work uh, we're gonna need to now put down our controller and our tank our, our, our smeltery tank so uh, what I like to do is put the controller here and then I put my where did it go there it is I put my tank on the outside now you see how that turned on now if you get that it works it's you're done it's pretty much operational uh, and even if you throw something in there it even goes in which is pretty cool I'm, I'm pretty pretty impressed by that cuz see oh there you go see that's pretty cool isn't it uh, but uh, once you see this is on it's on so and of course anything you dropped inside you will get back through the controller if it can be not if it cannot be melted it will come up in the controller as that item so there you go Alright, so the next thing that we're going to be working on and putting in is going to be our basin and our casting table. These two items are needed for uh, getting your uh, blocks and getting your um, your parts made. So we'll put the casting table down and we'll put the basin down. You, you can have these together if you want to. Hell, you can have another one right here with, with another casting basin if you want to. I just like having one of each. Um, and you can build these super easy once you practice every you know once in a while so we'll put the faucet there faucet there and that's it and you have to hold down shift because you know like if you're putting like a something on the wall or something you have to hold down shift so it's the same concept that's pretty much it you've legitly got your forge made really easy now the only other thing that you have to do is uh, to prime it you just need to put a bucket of lava in and if we right click you can see the GUI here. It has a hundred millibuckets of lava, and as you can see, it cannot melt the seared brick. Okay, but if we take our iron, for example, and you can just either click it in there, or you can do like I do, shift click it. It will automatically fill it all the way up for you. And as you see, it is. This is the timer, I guess you could say, for it melting. The smelter is empty. This is what's inside the smeltery. This is your lava, how much fuel you have, and then, of course, this is how much time is left before this iron ore gets melted. Now, let me say something very quickly to you, is that the forge from Tinker's Construct, when it melts iron, oh, by the way, you can even see it, see? Pretty cool, huh? Actually, we'll just watch it while, you, while I talk. We'll create twice as much ore as you put in. So, we put in, what, 16, I think? I think it was. I think we'll come up with 32. We should, I think. Yeah. No, 36. Okay. And then if you go back, you can see ta -da, that is iron. It's the color red. Okay. And then all we're going to do is just put our little mouse there, and you can see there's 36 ingots inside this bad boy. Okay. Now, uh,. We're gonna get to the we're gonna get to crafting parts here shortly. I forgot to get something else. Whoops! But I wanted to get this over with because this is kind of important. Um, so we've got iron, and we now have our basin. We have our casting table. Shut up, sheep! And we've pretty much legitly got everything done that needs to be done. But let's just say like uh, like you needed iron blocks because we need iron blocks for the upgraded tool forge that we need. You can actually just right click on the faucet here. This basin will fill up, and when it does, you'll have an iron block. So we're just going to watch that real quick, so you know. And of course, it's hot, so we can't touch it. 
But if it cools off, we now have an iron block. The beautiful, hello, the beautiful thing about this is that anything that you don't use, you can simply recycle. Isn't that cool? It goes right back into it. Now, on the offbeat that you have extra utilities as a mod in your playthrough or through in your world, you can actually take, if remember doing this right, and I think I can do this right, you can take a transfer nod for liquid and hold down shift, put it on the extra or the open blocks tank, and the open blocks tank will fill up your lava tank. So as you see it's raising up and the tank's going down, which is pretty awesome. So I don't have to manually sit here and put in buckets of lava. I can actually take the open blocks tank or tank in general that you can break in it will hold the hold the, the substance and just attach it. The Tinker's Construct, you can do all kinds of crazy stuff to it from different mods, which is totally awesome. So let's check it out. See, it's almost full. And once again, if this fuel runs out, it won't melt anything. So whatever you have here, it won't melt. So I'm just going to keep filling that up. Okay, so the next thing that we've got to work on is getting our tool forge done. And I don't think I put that together. I sure did not. Let me see. Did I put some iron blocks over here? I don't remember. Nope. Okay. So we'll have to make... Let's go make some two more iron blocks. Or three more iron blocks. So uh, don't worry about that guy. He's he's uh, he's just a visitor. So we're just going to let that fill up. Now this is going to be kind of important. But I want to get the tool forge... The upgrade to, uh, tool station, I'm sorry. Out of the way. So we need four blocks of iron, which we've got pretty much. Uh, but as you see, we can work and have it, you know, have it smelt items at the same time, not like a regular furnace, where we can only do one at a time. So that's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. I like the Tinker's Construct concept of making your own weapons. The only downside to this is that you cannot enchant your weapons. You can only use modifiers to increase, but the modifiers actually kind of really outdo the enchantment sometimes, so that's pretty cool. So, one more of those. Do I have them? Did I get another one? No, I need another one. Oh, that's right. Recycle that. That's right. Uh, let's see. We're going to need our tool forge. Our tool station. Come right here. And yeah. Thank you. And we need some seared brick, which we have, which is good. Alright. Is this one done? Boom! It's done. Alright. So let's go back over here. Let's open our crafting station. To make the upgraded tool forge, you're going to need two blocks like this, seared brick on top like this, and then your original tool station right here. So this is, the up this is now called the tool forge. That's why I keep saying forge. Boom, you now have a forge. Now, the difference between the regular tool station and the forge is, and I'll show you here, I'll just put that here for now, is you have a lot more items you can use. So, you have your old, you have your regular items, but there are new items added. So, that's pretty damn cool. Now, the one thing that we're going to have to worry about is we need to make um, molds. And I kind of screwed up and forgot to get gold. Because that's what I use. Because gold's pretty much useless to me. In the... In Minecraft. And, uh... It, what is it? Um... Is it Illuminite? I think it's Illuminite. Aluminum. I think it's Illuminite. Let me see. Aluminum? No, it's not Aluminum. It's a Molten Aluminum? No. I can't remember what it is. What's the other one? I just use gold all the time, so, you know, just just me. Uh, but there is another one that you can use, but I can get my hands on gold faster than I can, say, uh, say, um, aluminum, or mol mol molten brass, that's what it is, molten brass. Anyways, uh, we need the gold to make, like I said, molds, and uh, the way you make a mold is pretty easy. Your first mold uh, will be a ingot mold. You just take a seared brick right click on the casting table here and then we'll just wait for this to melt up and as you see the tanks just feeding it so it's not losing any any lava yet so that's pretty cool and then we're just gonna watch the magic here and voila we are full now once this thing gets full as you see it stops so until we take 
until you build it up or build it down. Of course, the wall you have to take the floor out and go down. But if you build it up higher, you can have more to put in it. I've had it where you know I've had to scroll down. You know that's how that's how tall it's been. Uh, if you right click on gold or left click, I'm sorry, it will move it down. So iron ingot, iron would be what we would be using if we clicked on the on the faucet. But if we click on the faucet again, or we click, I'm sorry, if we click to gold, we'll be using gold. So yay us. So our first uh, mold will be ta-da an ingot mold or an ingot casting I'm sorry an ingot casting isn't that cool I love it love it let's put that in there now now how are we gonna get the rest of the molds well back in the tier one uh, tool forges the tool forges and stencil table and the parts builder remember I told you that you could use stone in there as well. Well, the reason why I uh, didn't use stone for my weapons is because it's a waste of time to use stone for a weapon because it breaks easy and you have to cook cobblestone. But you can use it to create your uh, castings. And what I mean by that is, is if we put this in here, thank you, like so, we get a stone binding. Stone wide guard, and it's the same concept like we were doing before. By the way, this is what you get for uh, half of half a stone, I guess you best way to say it. Alright, we need that. Okay, and then now we need our heads, which is pretty easy. Again, this is the same same dealio, just stone. Okay. Now all we have to do is take the stone, make sure I get these out. Get over here. Bless you. All we have to do is take our like our stone rod tool, just like this the seared ingot. Right click it and make sure it's gold because we haven't changed it. And now we'll have the casting for the stone or for the uh, rod. So the tool rod castings. the same thing here. Now it used to be that these items would be destroyed, which I kind of liked, and I don't know if that was a mod that did that or if it was the actual um, tinkers that did it, but I really like that idea. Uh, what am I missing? Uh, I'm missing this one, I think. And again, the the, uh, the uh, pattern chest over there, it can hold these patterns because it's a pattern nothing else so I'm just using the chest here as our kind of our duck away and these can be thrown away you can throw them in lava throw them wherever you want these are useless to us now so we're just gonna kind of put them down here because we have these uh, castings now so we don't have to worry about that so we'll pull all these out all right now the really cool part about this is, is we make sure we switch over to iron is that now we can actually upgrade our tools to iron and uh, the durability level will be higher uh, and it's the same gonna be the same thing okay so if we click on pickaxe pickaxe is the same some uh, mods that uh, that change the way tinkers works will give you the ability to pull actual parts off and replace them with other parts but in the tinkers version it does not you just have to rebuild it but uh, we're gonna rebuild our weapons here. Again, you can have the hammer, the lumber axe, which chops down entire trees, the three by three area. The sickle is not only a, an a, uh, not only used for uh, crops and stuff like wheat and potatoes and carrots, but it can also be used as a weapon for AOE attacks. If damage is low, but if you put modifiers on it, it can actually get stronger. But we're gonna be worrying about uh, our pickaxe. So let's say these pickaxe and this sword is no good, no bueno anymore. So, we already know what we need, so let's go ahead and make them. So we're gonna make iron, there's one, and two. We don't need that anymore. We need a binding. <laughs> okay. We need the wide guard. And again, I'm just right clicking them and right clicking them off. We need the blade. And I'm just making full iron tools here. 
and full iron weapon. We can actually mix it, and I'll probably, uh, I should probably do that. I should probably mix it so you can see the difference. So let's see. Let's get rid of, let's get rid of these two, and let's grab some copper. We don't need this. It's the, it's the same concept. You see, let me show you. So you know. It's just like the ingots that you can, when you smelt down iron ore, it's the same concept. So you get an ingot, okay? So that's out of the way. All right, good. Now that we know that, that's out of the way. Uh, you know what? Let's also get, let's also take out one of these, just for the hell of it. Also, the, uh, oh, yeah, I should show you that too. Um, these, each, each material gives you certain buffs to your weapons, or to your tools, so, uh, we'll go over that too, so you know what that is. Uh, I'm not gonna get into details a lot about that, you have to go look that up. I may put a, dis a link down below for that particular thing, uh, so... Eh, may or may not, I don't know. Uh, but let's pull copper out, because that's going to be one of the closest things you get in the beginning of your adventures with Tinkers. Uh, it's not very far from the ground. Ooh, we're, do we have enough room? We don't have enough room. Ooh. Let me go ahead and get some more of this out. So we can let that go. <laughs> this process is very, very slow, so do keep that in mind. Okay, are you asleep or are you just like looking? Yeah, he's just looking. Okay. Alright, so we've got some room, so it should smell to it, so we should be okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make us a little bit more room for some copper. Again, this this process can be it can be turned into automated. Uh Direwolf 20 has done a great job. Generic B does a great job of it. Uh who else? There was somebody else I was watching that did um that turned this into an automatic system, which I might in my world if I have redstone and whatnot. Some things require mods, some of them don't. Um, you can actually make a redstone clock, and then you can, act you can you can attach it here, right above the faucet, and it'll actually uh, work with it. Tinkers is just amazing. Simple, but amazing. Okay, we should have enough room now. Yeah, we got enough room. Okay. So let's go ahead and take you out. So let's put this one in. And uh, I won't delete them. Oh, I forgot. Uh, I gotta put the, get the white guard. There it is. Okay. There we go. And the guard. Perfect. Okay. We put these up. Cause they'll get in our way. Get out of here. We don't love you anymore. Go away. All right. So we come to our upgraded tool forge, or from our tool station to our tool forge. Same concept, same uh, GU, GUI, but the difference is going to be when we craft our items, for example, we'll put our iron pick axe head in, we'll put our copper binding in, and we'll start with our tool rod. Okay, so durability is 125, speed 6, mining level redstone. So this can actually mine diamonds if we wanted it to. Notice that the modifier is not 4. That's because we did not change this into a paper. We can change it into a paper if we wanted to. I love my classmates. They're great at texting at the wrong times. There we go. But again, because there's no paper, you can't, you don't get that extra modifier. But watch what happens when we put on this one. We went to 324. Redstone steel modifier, but look at the durability. 324, and we drop that one, we put that one in, 125. So the more expensive parts you put onto your weapon or tool, the better the durability, the better the mining level, or the damage output. So uh, we'll call this one Iron Picks for Life. And the same thing, Iron Picks for Life. And look, it has reinforced one because I believe we used uh, iron on our on our tool rod. Again, I could go into tail, go into to explanation on all the material and what it does give you when you create items, but that's a little bit lengthy, and I'd rather just show you a website. So I'll try to put the website down below, down in the description. All right, so that's built. Now our next weapon is our broadsword. So let's make sure we delete this because we don't want to have iron picks for life as our sword. And we'll attach here. Uh, we'll put the copper on and then, uh, well, I didn't make another iron iron one, so we'll have to make an iron one. But this one has 150 durability, 
plus three hearts of damage, and I think I better make a. I think I better make the bigger, the better tool rod. Oh, I did make another one. There it is, right there. 